Oh dear is uh, the two words that I want to use. Um, because look, look what's happened to this tripod thing. It's broken. See this little piece of plastic? It's broken. Do you know, I really loathe the stuff that they make now in the, oh, there we go, in the 21st century. It's so tacky. Everything's so darn tacky. I mean, gone to the trouble of using the Earth's resources. Mother Earth has given up all this metal. Look, petrochemicals. And the one thing that was holding the camera in place appeared to be a tiny little piece of plastic, which you can see is sheared off here. I almost lost the camera. The camera almost fell. I was going to set up the little tripod, you see, and just set it up so you could see me taking down the tree. But it wasn't meant to be, was it? <laughs> it just wasn't meant to be. So is this the lesson that the universe is sending me now on New Year's Eve? And the lesson is... Colette, just take the technology you need, keep using the basic simple stuff and move forward from there. Well, Jack, what do you reckon? <laughs> so the flipping tripod Unless I can find another use for it, which at this point in time, in my frustrated brain, seems highly unlikely, that's going to go to the recycling. But it's a beautiful afternoon. I think it's somewhere in the region of three o'clock. Um, possibly. It's about three o'clock, I think. You see, even that technology is not working for me. The technology that works perfectly for me, um, at the higher end of the spectrum of technology, that is, is this camera, which is brilliant. I love it. My phone, which is brilliant. I love it. My laptop. And you know, that's probably all I need. I don't, I don't need to be going, you know, setting up, setting up videos. I don't like it anyway, truth be told. I don't like the idea of setting things up and going through a sort of series of manipulations in order to get the desired effect. I love the spontaneity of what I do. I have always loved the spontaneity of life. And on the surface, I seem to be moving around you know, going from one task to another, but I'm always getting a huge amount of stuff done. I mean, I don't simply put the kettle on to boil a cup of tea, on the, you know, put the kettle on the stove to boil a cup of tea. I fill the kettle, I put it on the stove, and then whilst that is coming to the boil, I'm doing stuff like this. I'm lighting the little stove in here. I'm setting up my little mantelpiece for the evening. Um, I'm filling up Jack's bowl. So I must put your dog food away now, Jack. I'm sorting out little things for the charity shops as well. So there's, there's so many things that I'm getting done all the time. There's something very special, by the way, that I want to show you, which is part and parcel of the reason of why I um, started this little video today. Um, I'll show you the small things first. So this 
is a little flask that I bought. It's a very simple little flask. In fact, it's an ingenious little flask. And again, the simplicity of the technology appeals to me. So I'm just going to rest my camera on my cup. <laughs> Never mind the tripod. <laughs> and I'll show you. Okay. So, this little flask opens up. And in it, at the moment, is tea. And you know why there's tea in it? Because this little yolk here is a little strainer which you put in and it sits in the top and you pour your boiling water through it and once your tea is brewed you take your little infusion of tea out and voila, what you have then is perfect tea. I'm just topping up my cup now with tea, with hot tea, and then putting this little yolk back in because it's now empty. And I'll take that out of the kitchen. Now, there's another simple piece of technology that works, and I'll tell you what my tea tastes like now. Mm. Not terribly hot, but beautifully infused. Gorgeous. So, the other thing I wanted to show you, which um, uh, I got another two cards today. Oh, by the way, I want to say, let me remove this, <laughs> these wee bits of useless plastic. Um, Okay. <clears throat> I'm just just bear with me. Coming to it. Oh yes. So I want to say a very special thanks to <laughs> I'm getting there. Martina. Martina, thank you so very much. And I received your little monetary gift and thank you so much. Much appreciated. Um, especially as I'm going to Belfast on uh, the 3rd. It'll give me a, a little bit of leeway. Um, I got a, a parcel this morning and it's from... I think it's Jane Brady thought so I'll have to just double check this. Let me just get this right. Ah uh, Yes, Irene Thomas. No, I'm a little bit confused now. Okay, I'm just going to sit down and uh, see if I can't work this out. Um, I got a parcel delivered this morning and um, on the delivery note, the sender's name was Irene Thomas. Now, it could be that Irene Thomas was actually the person who took it to the post office. I'm not sure. Because inside, there was a lovely card and... I'm not very good at reading other people's script, but I'm just trying to do my best here. 
uh, oh yes, yes, yes. Once, once one's eyes become accustomed to this, you know, it's kind of not too difficult. Um, because it's actually a beautiful painting, you see, I want to show you this painting. It's an oil on canvas. So, this painting of Jack from one of your photos. Yes, it is a beautiful painting. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, it was just a signature. It is Irene. Um, it's it's Irene Brady Thomas. Yes. Sorry, I'm I'm being so pernickety there, but I I quite often I I, I just kind of um, get get the wrong get the wrong identity from the signature. Irene Thomas, Irene Brady Thomas. So let me show you. Oh, there's a little mark on there. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> Jack saying, what are you up to? Well, I'll show you what I'm up to, Jack. I'm By that silly tripod. There we go. The little blur is gone. I'm sidetracked completely. Let me get up. I want to show you this painting. <clears throat> Irene Thomas, thank you so much. This is a beautiful painting that Irene has done. It's an oil on canvas and it is of Jack. I just put it up there for a moment, but I'm going to bring it into the light and show you. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just delighted with that. Thank you so much, Irene. I think what I'll do is I'll just put it up here for the moment. There will come a day when I will have to ask you all to crowdfund an enormous extension on this cottage <laughs> for all the beautiful artwork that I'm being gifted. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? And as Irene says in her little note that um, she has introduced colours into it which show some ageing in Jack so the picture will be appropriate to Jack as he emerges I think he looks rather gorgeous oh yes Jack imagine imagine having your portrait painted yes oh darling beautiful beautiful boy yes so we'll just step outside now um, and have a look at the rest of the day. You see I put some more bits of ivy here on the wreath. These, these wreaths, you know, look, they go on forever, these willow wreaths. Now, what I'm going to do with my tree over there, I'm going to take the lights off it and I'm going to, going to bring the wheelbarrow in so I can plonk it into the wheelbarrow because it's quite heavy and I'm going to move it out I'm going to move it out 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 and take it out to one of these beds here um, because I'm going to use it I think for growing sweet peas now I think it would look grand either here so to the right of the arch I think it would look grand there with sweet peas growing up during the summer, or even over there. And then I'm going to set about 
making some more arches. I've been threatening this for months. But I'm not going up to Belfast until the 3rd. So tomorrow's the 1st. I've got the 1st and the 2nd when I'm going to just be putting on my jeans like I've done today. These, by the way, are my old jeans. You may have noticed they're a bit kind of grubby. Um, just putting on my jeans and getting out onto the land, which I love. I love being out. I'm going to be cutting back that willow up there as well. Time to just trim things back. Hmm. I always feel quite excited, you know, making plans about the garden. Now I'll just show you in here my little shed. Look, I've been sorting out stuff. Look at this. So you've got all these plastic boxes and I've got lots and lots of stuff in the plastic boxes. And then I find things like half bags of charcoal. <laughs> and lots of wine bottles in here where I was going to bottle my wine. Uh, the shed's got quite damp. So um, I've got to sort out lots of stuff. You know, I've been saving little carpet squares because I'm, I'm a great one for recycling, as you know. But over there, look, I've got mass... Oh, can you see in this light? Is this camera picking it up? But there's shelves of DVDs there, which I'm going to bring out. And then you can see in here, look, I've got lots of broken glass, broken mirror glass that I wanted to do a mosaic with. But I will just have to give it a jolly good clean out. I'll show you some of the little things. Look, this has got awfully damp. Look at the state of the back of it. But you can see some of the stuff that I was doing. You know, when I first came to Bealtaine, in fact, I'll hang this out here. You see, I was making stuff like this to sell at craft fairs. So this is like a little frame. Actually, it stood the, te the test of time really well, if you ask me, because look, this is a little, this is an ordinary little frame and I've put this lovely Celtic picture into it you see and uh, then I've put little twigs little willow twigs all the way around the frame I've stuck them on and it's been hung in that damp shed for quite a long time and yet still it maintains um, its shape and everything so I've got lots of stuff like that in here uh, this looks like another one, is it? Oh yeah. This is a bit simpler. I'm surprised actually how the how the pictures managed to keep keep its um, integrity. Hang that one up there. So you can see there as well. So I've glued the sort of twigs on either side. That's the tower brooch. Now you see the birds, they're flying in and around here. Because I put, oh look at that, cheeky little rascals. They're swooping at me. Um, I put lots of seed into this hanging copper dish. So there we go. This is the only way to get any work done at this place, okay? It really is. It's the only way. Where you have three or four jobs on the go. And you just move from one to the other depending on, you know, the weather in the day, the time you have, etc. And it has an organic flow to it then. And you do then end up getting a lot done. Hmm. By the end of January, I intend to have a massive amount done out here. Because I really want to have it all prepared for the spring. Oh. 
lots of willow here to cut as well. So, oh gosh, I've run into 20 minutes. Blessings to you all, and thank you so much, Irene. You have created a beautiful image of my darling Jack. Thank you so much, and blessings to you all. And Happy New Year, everybody. Well, Happy New Calendar Year. <laughs> blessings to you all.